CBS brought 270 people and is taking over an entire hotel outside Manchester. Marcus Jones went there earlier this week to see how the networks put their act together on the road. This is the CBS Evening News. Dan Rather reporting. Good evening. This stop, New Hampshire. What may At 6.30, Dan Rather stop. signs on. Cool, calm, and collected. Control. The top story is the New Hampshire primary, and his old friend Bob Schieffer is on live. Less than 24 hours after the Iowa caucuses, the CBS Roadshow is off and running in the Granite State. Is there such thing as uh, too much coverage? Well, I don't know. It's... <laughs> I guess that's not for us to say. I guess we're, we, we should uh, give as much coverage as we possibly can and people decide uh, when they've had enough of it. Richard Cohen is the senior politics producer for CBS. He coordinates the election coverage. It's a very close race. Uh, it's a very interesting race. And, um, and we're going to devote a, a great deal of our resources to it and, and, uh, and a great deal of our airtime. To cover the New Hampshire primary, CBS will truck in more than 200 people. Every room in this hotel will be full. And they're even taking up space in the ballroom, where they're building the portable studio. Take this piece of paper and leave me as much as you can over there so I'm free on both ends. At the Sheridan Wayfarer Hotel in Bedford, okay. CBS has simply Let's taken over. That. In the ballroom, where they're building the set that Dan Rather will anchor from next week. In the lobby, where equipment is stacked up. In the meeting rooms, where the news is gathered. In the suites, where the reports are edited. And even in the parking lot where they've assembled eight trailers and hired local students to help out. Have you learned anything so far? <laughs> uh, learned how to run around a lot. <laughs> Can I ask you a quick question? I'm doing a piece for now. I've really got it. Everybody's busy. This may resemble broadcast news, the movie, but it's important to remember, this is broadcast news for real, and everyone's on deadline. It's in the next hour or so. Uh, is that going to become a madhouse in there? No, uh, downstairs in the edit rooms, uh, some people's hands will be moving very quickly, uh, but, you know, it, it, it all gets on the air somehow. Is it broadcast news? Sometimes it is. The other night we were racing from one end of a huge building to the other to feed. The editor tripped up the steps, the tape went flying. I mean, it was exactly like a scene out of the movie. So people think that really doesn't happen. Occasionally it does. Not every day. <laughs> this is uh, public television in Boston. They're doing a piece on you guys. So, whoa, whoa, really? <laughs> Ironically, while we were watching CBS cover the news, CBS was watching itself. Reporters from the new documentary show, 48 Hours, we're looking into what goes on behind the scenes on the campaign trail. I'm trying to do a few minutes with Secret Service. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks to me like they were being a lot more cooperative with you guys than I've ever seen them before. Yeah, I was kind of amazed about that, too, really. I mean, uh, they even gave us little badges to get behind the scenes. So. CBS correspondent spent five weeks in Iowa. In New Hampshire, they'll stay only seven days. From here, it's on to Super Tuesday which promises to be their most exhausting challenge. Is it a letdown for you when it's not an election year? Well, it is a little bit. It's kind of like owning a Christmas tree lot. The work comes all at once. Uh, for political reporters, it comes about every uh, four years. It's getting to be every two years now because the campaigns are getting so long. Uh, but yes, there is some downtime, but you need a little downtime. These things, <laughs> they can be pretty grueling. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones. Finally tonight, the Boston Herald is about to find out what happens if you hold a presidential debate and nobody shows up, or nobody but Pete DuPont. The Herald proclaimed on page one this morning that the debate was set, but only then did it open a meeting today with campaign lieutenants to see which candidates might care to come. George Bush is a no at this point. Bob Dole is a no unless Bush says yes. And Herald editor Ken Chandler says tonight that he's not sure what the paper and its partner WBZ-TV will do if just Pat Robertson, Jack Kemp, and Pete DuPont show up at Fannel Hall on Saturday night. Post time is 7.30 p.m., but we warned you, there may be no horses in the gate. That's our news. I'm Christopher Lighton. And I'm Carvin Fields. Thanks for joining us. Good night.